G'day, yep, we're on the road and we're heading north to uh, Dee's facility to have a look at a dog she's got there that uh, is stuck in limbo. She, he's in a bit of a bad place, isn't he? He is, yeah, his name's Diesel. I don't know what breed he is. Um, I mean, I can take a guess at what he looks like, but I, I don't know yeah. for sure. But he was dumped in the bush by his owners. Yep. Um, I'll let Dee tell the, the story. It's a okay. pretty sad one. But there's no room yeah, um, at the cool, shelter. Um, and he's in a quite an urgent situation that if there isn't room, he is going to be euthanized. Yeah. Um, so... He has an incident on his file. It's not really that bad. It's, nah. not, it's not what we're um, used to hearing, you know? Um, but having an incident on your file doesn't look good, you know? With, yeah. With and then when they all of a sudden find themselves in this legal situation, uh, you know, the rules are the rules and he's being ordered to either own this dog or it gets put to sleep and she doesn't have much of a time frame so unfortunately with that with any record of these the dogs uh, falling into the system they, they don't get much of an opportunity so we're driving up there quickly to have an assessment do a bit of work with we've loaded a few dogs up with us to come and see um, see how he goes with our dogs and hopefully take this dog back with us, take Diesel home with us. We can, uh, we can work something out for him. So we're, we've arrived at Dee's facility. We go. Come in, say good day, meet Diesel. See what we're dealing with. to respond for some basic training and see if we can work with him. This is not what you would usually see at a, Definitely not. a pound facility. This is all the... It's, it, it's very good, isn't it? It's yeah, actually, it's yeah. lovely. Look at him trying 
gonna be the goodest boy ever. <laughs> oh, buddy. How, how old is Vinny? No, we haven't met Abby. No, only Haven. Oh, Abby's, Haven Abby's the mum to the litter. Oh, hello, darling. Hello. 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 They're so small, Don. They're so they're so itty bitty. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, oh, that's so nice. You've got aircon on her. Ah, oh, absolutely like spoiled as she should be. Hi. Hi. Hello, darling. Hi. Hello. Look, Look at these little, little bobby boos. They're so beautiful, darling. They're your babies. Your little babies. Oh, goodness me. Hello, baby. Oh, it's very nice conditions in here, very isn't it? Very nice, yeah. It's nice and cool with that air con. It's so clean. You're a lucky girl. <laughs> Hello, darling. Little yeah. cuties.
surrender him. They said it was their brother's job. The brother has gone overseas, living with the father, has to go. We said to him, look, we're at full capacity. We can offer you assisted rehoming. They weren't interested. They got cranky and they left. I gave to trying to stop them so that I could talk to them. They went to RSPCA, got told the same thing, they're at full capacity. So they then took him out onto the back road, the country road, and dumped him in someone's paddock. Yes. Oh, and the worst thing about it, this dog, well, he's skinny now. When he came in, he was a lot skinnier. He's been putting on weight. Just a beautiful boy. If you tell him to sit, he'll sit. Histories that they've got orders on them, there's nothing we can do. If they're a 
dog that's come in and unclaimed, they've only got a set time period. We don't enforce that. We try and work with it. But we've only got 25 kennels that service three lots of councils. I think yesterday alone, we must have had about 10 or 11 animals come in. Half our kennel space. So yesterday, like, I had to have somebody holding a dog while I was cleaning the kennel so they could put the next dog in it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And people are doing some silly things. They just think it's not my problem and they're dumping these poor animals. There's no way to go. Mm. You know? I just know he's worth it. done anything with him yet but I was just going to do five or ten minutes with him to get him responding and then I want to see what he's like with the male dog and see what, see what we're dealing with. When he tries to go for the male dogs, what's he doing? Uh, look, I think what it is is he's trying to get into their face, he's got no respect for that male dog. If they show anything to him, he's ready to go. You know what I mean? Um, he's just wants to have a go at a male dog. Now I know he came from a household with two dingoes in it and I know they weren't getting along so I don't know if he's been attacked or you know, I don't know. Okay. So we're going to one of these Yeah, he's got a kink in the tail. That yes, he possibly he... has had for oh, quite some time. I would say it was on his microchip, so I'd say he's yeah. had it since he was a baby. Yeah. Yeah. Something's happened to it. Sit. Oh, he's oh, chipped as a Kelpie, oh, but we don't think he's all Kelpie. We think he's sort of a, you know, black sheep. Yeah, with, definitely looks like he's got... Maybe even a bit of Border Collie or something with that snout. Yeah, he definitely looks like he's got Shepherd in him, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, for sure. We think he's got Shepherd in him. And his ear constantly goes back. It's like it's permanently creased there. Right. That that is a shepherd thing too. Like we've got one shepherd that has one that's permanently like that. <clears throat> we even had him dropping. So Luke, he very freely sits, yep. but he just doesn't hold the sit, so he wants to do it on his own well, terms. This is, this is very common with most dogs. They all know how to sit, but all I'm teaching him is I, I, I'm gonna, he's gonna wait for me until I tell him the sit's over. Yeah. So I'm just getting him used to sit. Good boy. So I want one or two things to happen. Either he registers, okay, you're controlling the sit, or he starts to fight me and says, I'm not going to sit for you anymore. Yeah. One of those two things. A lot of the time, dogs fight you for the sit, don't they? Yeah. 
yeah, he's very compliant. Mm. But if they already know how to sit well, you don't get a proper gauge sit of what they're like because they know it's a trick. They've done it a million times. Um, so it's not an honest response when you're trying to get him to sit. So usually they'll either start to sit, start to look up at you as if to go, what's going on, why are we still here? Yeah. And then that's when they're trying to read you, which is good, that's what you want. You want them to start to engage. Sit. show a bit of frustration like come on what are we doing but he's still not looking but I want about 30 seconds of him in a nice calm sit before I go into stepping away from him and doing something else sit so this is pretty standard stuff like you can simulate sitting at a set of lights waiting to go green sit he just needs to hold a sit you know, a bit longer than one second Sit. Good job. Good boy. So we often go back to the example of um, Chance in this situation and Chance was the one that fought hard for 27 minutes. Yep, so this is the... This is where he says... I've had enough. enough. I'm not going to play this game. Mm. But this is where I get to see exactly what we're dealing with, how long he stays here. This is where he first starts to realise, okay, these aren't the usual rules. You know, and he'll start to, oh, And the other really important thing here for everybody is the praise, the positive, yeah. you know, that every time he does what you're asking him to do, he gets reminded that, that yep, that's it. Yeah, absolutely. Each time we put him back into a sit, we're all, sit, good boy, always rewarding him. Um, the whole idea of this and the reason why I want him to focus on me and listen to me is because we're going to put him in with a male dog and I want him to listen. Sit. Good boy. If he puts his blinkers on, there's no point. It's just a yeah. nervous exercise. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, we won't come out with Sit. any other outcome other than he doesn't like male dogs. <laughs> Just got up before I did that. Mm -hmm. Come on, mate. Come on. Yeah. Come on, mate. Yeah. 
Big boy. Big boy. It's so much repetition Sit. in dog training. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yep. Okay, so this is his first correction. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yep. Intelligent, he's a little bit too smart for his own good. I can see him just going through his repertoire. Uh, what if I do this? What if I do this? You know, he's just looking for a way out. Sit. But this is what I want. So when he fights me, he'll lose, and then he realizes he doesn't have the control. Uh, the quicker he starts to listen, then the quicker we can progress and work out what we're doing. But a lot of people um, don't like when they get to this point. But this is the point where it's actually starting to break through. Oh boy. This end. This end. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. No. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. What are you using treats here for? Not just for to, a reward. Uh, just to see if he's going to ignore them and listen to me. Um, so as a distraction. Starting off as a little small distraction and then build it up to the point where we can put a male dog in front of him and see if he'll still ignore that distraction. Good boy, so it's not the usual boy. process to leap from small treat to... No, we're fast tracking here. Your Achilles to, heel. Yeah, <laughs> but we just need to get a bit of responsiveness from him and then just see how ingrained the behavior is or what's going on. Good boy mate, good boy. Good boy, sit. Good boy, good boy. Good boy, good boy. Good boy, good boy. Good boy, good boy. Good boy, free. Good boy mate. Good boy, here they are. Here they are. Good job. Good job, mate. So D's gone to get KFC, that could be a higher distraction. <laughs> yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Get out over here, mate. Come on.
with him. So what's the plan? We just need a staff member to grab someone on the lead, hold them back, and then probably go into that pen where the poodle is. Get the poodle on the lead and just hold him back, and then I'll walk him around. And then uh, he responded quite well. Did you see? I don't know if you noticed, but he first growled and lunged and snapped. He said no, brought him back. Then he de-escalated to just a growl and teeth. Uh, said no, brought him back. And then the third time, I think you were feeling on the puppies. They asked him to sit and he sat. And then the rest of the time he was just avoiding him and just not, not Yeah, engaging. I saw that on the, on the fourth one. Yeah. It would be nice. But... Good boy, man. Good boy, Good boy. buddy. Um, so... Because he is doing so well, I'm more worried about the poodle, to be honest. But if the poodle's on lead being held back. Well, you just have to make sure that they've got proper control over the poodle. It's either that or we give them Ma Muzzle a poodle. Yeah. Muzzle a poodle. Yeah, well, whatever. We can ask and see if they've got a muzzle. They will do, but it's either that or we start using our dogs, but there's no room to bring our dogs in. response from with the poodle yeah. so we want to be able to Just recreate that and see if he, he'll respond we clear one of these pens out like once we do that we clear one of these pens out and we can work in one and just see how he goes yeah well let's have something to eat okay. so put him back and then we'll get a exercise run emptied 
I am mummy to six Hello. little orphan babies. Hello, darling. Hello. Oof. Hello. <laughs> She's not happy with me, is she? I was waiting for that. <laughs> and then you do this. Whoa. Stop it. <laughs> and then I do this. I'm like, I, I am you. not scared of you. <laughs> you understand me? Look at how little she is. But she's so your little face oh, angel little we've got feisty spunk little thing, <laughs> feisty little you? angel hello you're all right hello it's all right darling. and there's a toddy in there hello. and a gray with spunk there's three hello. with spunk hello so they were came in without a mum without a first one came in there was four of them they couldn't catch the other two and then the other two came in yesterday Aww. So there's this one. Stop it. Oh, Dee, we love our little kitty, don't we? Yeah. She's like, we, she's the cat we never knew we needed. Am I going to be as feisty as you? No, no, this one's good. Look, it's got a real worried look on its face. It's like, I don't know. Hello. Hi. And then we've got. Stop it. <laughs> was just as bad as that one but now she's like I give up. Uh, yeah, you've accepted the love. She's come she Hello. comes to the front of the cage when I'm feeding. Hello. So do you give them lots of human contact, I is do. that right? I um I touch them every time I get and yeah. of course when I'm feeding them at all hours of the night. Yes. Where's that um fake hand that you had? Uh-huh. <laughs> Plural. There's several of them. Oh yeah. Yes, we do have. Is that? But you don't use those on the kittens. Nice. No. Oh, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, no. I use my own. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. She. You could see she was putting up a good front, but. Once you get them there, and you're like, yeah. I am not scared of you, or I say, stop it. Because <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I know. We had some feral cats come in yesterday, Aww. and one of them got me. But Gee. um. Yeah, our cat just plays with you and opens you up. Like I hate to see him serious. Yeah. Your know, Tani's husband wasn't a cat person, and then Tani took home our two oldest ones from a deceased estate. And now he's a cat lover, and now they've got four. Yeah, wow. Right. That's cool. yeah. So oh, I would three. say that that would be probably us on the opposite, wouldn't it? Like, I've never had a cat before, ever. This is our bipolar cat. You haven't had a cat before? Never, ever, ever. Um, but I am in love with Kitty Rose and can totally see us with a dozen. <laughs> This is Crumbles. This is our pound cat. He came in when all the flooding happened. Aww. He was wearing a collar. Nobody ever came for him, but he attacked you when he's in the mouth. But recently we noticed that he was going downhill. And so we put him into the vets for some testing and he's in renal failure. Oh, dear. So that's terrible. Grumbles Walton. Don and I adopted him. Oh, so beautiful. That he's got a, oh, that's he, lovely, Dee. We just don't want him to die without a name. Yeah. Um, yeah we understand that one. Yep. So this is Grumbles. This is his normal outside beautiful. cage so that when the roller door goes up, he can see the outside yeah. that he normally is in there. Yeah. But yeah. And I think uh, Roscoe is nicknamed um, Grumbles by our followers. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, then this great mum name. and babies came in. Oh. The lady had and been feeding mum and gave birth. So she kept the cat for some time. Yeah. And then she tried to call it in as a stray. Yeah. And the quarter out. So then she gave the cat and the kittens away on... Facebook. Oh, and then they brought them to the pound. And I went, actually, I know these cats. Mm, so anyway, me. they're safe with us. Yeah. There's Minnie Mum. Minnie Mum! Uh, yeah, it looks exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> you must get so many bullshit artists just to live your lives yes. all day long. Like on Christmas Day, I walked out to find a little English stuffy tied to our fence, chained to our fence with a towel and a bowl of water. Oh, jeez. That's the little English stuffy called Ammo out there. Oh, yeah. we love Ammo. And when I 
spoke to the people, they said, well, if you've got a euthanasia, I'm like, sign the surrender form. Like, Why? Emma is beautiful. It's beautiful. The guys were playing with him in the pool. He just yeah. loves you. I think that's the thing that really frustrates me is so many people give up give so up. quickly. We had this conversation. Emma, yesterday. Emma is so beautiful. He would just be so heartbroken, yeah. you know, yeah. that his yeah. his people have yeah. left him. Yeah. yeah. Come that's on in. Awful. You'll see what I've been up to. Because there's not enough wall art in oh. the world. Oh, oh dear! Oh, oh, that is so cool. See the um, selfie behind you? Uh, Anything with animals, John and I no, have been creating. Yeah, and we're just creating wall art. It's cool. I like it. I love it too. Yeah. And, and you can I have was, a bit of fun in the process. And I say to the staff, while you're here, <laughs> <laughs> and having lunch, help yourself. Yeah, yeah, I see there's people that are halfway through some projects. Yeah, there. this oh. is where I started the other day, which is actually... Oh, yeah. Oh. But I've also, so we're getting there. Oh, and awesome. everybody who has lunch gets into it. And that's one I've already finished. Oh, cool. Yeah, no, that's right. These are really they're cool. lovely, aren't they? You would be able to buy photos like this. They're beautiful. beautiful. And because I couldn't find anything, because you know that impound mode, it's pretty, everywhere else is really lovely. Mm. That income is a bit drab and I thought we need some wall art out there. Oh, we dear. need to make it, make them feel like, don't be scared. Yeah. yeah. There's love here. Yes. And I started to look for wall art, couldn't find anything. Mm. And then I started to see all the jigsaws with animals in it and I yeah. thought, let's do it. Yeah. I put them together, John paints them and makes them into posters. So good. Because who knew that you could buy <laughs> jigsaw glue that makes makes a jigsaw. Oh goodness, I didn't know. Yeah, this stuff here. You're a wealth of knowledge. You paint it on <laughs> and it becomes a poster. Mod yeah. podge pud puzzle, puzzle saver. saver. And oh, then you yeah. just pick it up and put it in a frame. Fantastic. Have some lunch. <laughs> oh, thank and you, Dee. And now you've got extra for your co-pilot. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dee. <laughs>
Little, the audience, yeah. the cheese squad. <laughs> You're the cutest little cheese squad. Diesel, diesel, diesel. Good boy, mate. Good boy. Good boy, boy. Well done. 
Holding him tight, yeah, close. Hi, buddy. Are we friends again? Yeah, just grab, yeah. Just grab the lead. Okay. So I'm handing over. Yeah, yeah. yeah.
Daisel! Go boy! Go boy! Go boy! Right off the bat, uh, now. Go boy, come on, come on. Go boy, little boy. Good oh boy, you really good. Good boy, my dear. Good boy, good boy. Good boy, my dear. 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 Good boy, man. Yeah, good job. Good job. 
No travel. Yeah. Don't pick me. No travel at all. <laughs> There's two others on the table. Go over there. It's all right, Tinky.
Alright, look at you, buddy. You ready? You ready? Ready? Go! Go, Tanky loves um, Wolfie. Yeah, she yeah. Loves it's his person. <laughs> the baby, the baby. <laughs> Oh no, he's like, this is not that bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's like, Tani, I need all this love. <laughs> Thank 
You're so beautiful. enough um, legs there, Sam. <laughs> the camera's not usually turned on. <laughs> Look at these pair.
definitely did much better than what I thought. <laughs> so we got Tani in the corner. There's no personal space at our place, is there? Like, <laughs> even our kids are being like, they're growing up thinking that this is n normal, you know? Remember when you just go to the bathroom, like they follow you into the bathroom? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have like Fredo. 20 dogs. Like, Fredo always follows me, but sometimes there's 20 dogs in, in this tiny little bathroom. Well, they take turns, they line up down the hallway. And they take turns <laughs> I've done the first five, you yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. I have to admit, our house holds the same. We always have enough yeah. space to the toilet. You sit there thinking, well, there's just no privacy. We, we wouldn't have it any other way, no. would we? It'd be weird. You know, when your animal passes away, and you don't have those things that you really miss it. Mm, yeah, things. absolutely. This is odd, but yeah. it definitely. Means the world to you when it's not there. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I think he's two. I'm going to double check. Sure. But I think he's two weeks old. Two weeks old. Yeah. His teeth are pretty yellow. Oh, maybe he's older. So can he go in Chance's room, do you think? Absolutely not. He's very responsive. 
Um, he hey, does Jobby. behave hey, a little strange and a bit different at times. But he's quick to take instructions and cut it out. So if you if you want to vaccinate him, we're happy to take him today, and then you can sort out paperwork another time. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Have you seen Russell? <laughs> There's Russell. Yeah, just watch the puppies with um. I'm guarding for she's yeah. Especially now we've just got one going home. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wonderful! Congratulations, puppies. See you later. Thanks, Janine. There's some wormers in there, and there's also the 20 to 40 and 10 to 20 flea treatments yeah, as well. Awesome. Thank you, Dee. Thanks very much. Oh, no, my pleasure, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for coming today. Oh, no that's all right. Always we'll a pleasure. Let you Hopefully know how. our van will get fixed and we'll be back down to you yeah. guys next week. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. Sure. Sounds good. Shrek got pretty excited when he saw us. He's keen to go back to the farm, I think. He's really struggling. He's hitting the wall, but at Janine's house, different dog. Yeah. So we're just going to put the call out for another foster carer for him. Yeah. And the same as Venus. She loves everything. There's a home out there for everyone. We can sort of find them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, thanks, right. guys. Safe no trip. Worries. Thank you, Dee. Persistent in trying to 
just keep getting up and do his own thing. Didn't want to focus on me. And you can just tell he's a very intelligent dog and he's used to used to outsmarting the handler or just not having to do what they're asking or you know, that kind of thing. You got people waving to us. <laughs> but as the day went on, we could I could definitely see his attention turned towards me and his focus on me and he started to really value the praise that I was giving him and that's when we started to see a bit of a turnaround. Uh, I could see he, when he had a couple of moments with some of the other dogs, it was, you know, as expected, but what I was impressed with was just how quickly at that stage after doing the basic training with him just how quickly he would take that on board and disengage from uh, the behaviour that he, he was exhibiting and, and start to focus on me and that's when I just shouted him with praise and it, and it made him really want my praise even more because then it turned into reassurance and he started leaning on me and just burying his hand with his mouth open on me and just really lapping up and you could tell he was getting a lot out of those interactions with me and him. And so then he decided, oh, I'm just gonna disengage altogether from the dogs and I'm just gonna stay happy. Um, and it just started to snowball. And then by the end of it, you know, we had him off lead with Tank, Chopper, Barney, Joey, Roscoe, all in the small pen together and started throwing balls around and doing that kind of thing and he handled it very well so it was good that he was I was able to create a relationship with him very quickly and then create that bond and trust and then he just allowed me to dictate the environment and he trusted that I had everything under control and he just relaxed so it was a good sign he definitely is a smart dog just need to introduce him to the rest of the dogs now. We'll take him for a bit of a run, you know, wear him out, show him, uh, show him around the farm and then hopefully in a, in a short couple of days uh, he'll be free roaming with the rest of the pack. But we'll see. There's going to be a couple of little things we need to work out first. Chopper, Tank and Roscoe were all on their very best behaviour. They were really good boys, yeah. weren't they? So I want to see them be a little bit more outgoing and a little bit more boisterous. So when we get the motorbike going in the paddock, we'll start to see a little bit more of an honest reaction from, from those guys. And I want to see how Diesel handles that. Uh, I'm going to introduce Diesel to Fredo. Fredo will likely not... Um, take a backward step on that one and we just see how how Diesel handles it. So we didn't take Fredo today and we've decided that we will likely never take Fredo to one of these situations Yeah. because we just feel like it might very well destroy him. Yeah he's he's been through too many owners and been abandoned each time but even just going in for an exercise like we did today the look on tank chopper and roscoe's face when i put him in that pen yeah. and went to go get diesel they were just like do not leave us here you know yeah. what have, what have we done why are you why are you giving us up so poor freddo i actually got a bit i don't know did you hear i got a bit more information about freddo from d okay um so he was moved around um, uh, in like from shelter to shelter and when he came from the last shelter to D's one yeah. he was heavily medicated oh. um, and so his behaviour was not true to what he no, they they were told one thing and, yeah. um, you know, 
once he was weaned off the medication it was a different dog there was a different dog yeah. but i just that just broke my heart yeah unfortunately that's the option that most people take like an aggressive dog you know like they just try because they can't they can't fix them with training so they heavily they, they, medicate they them they to manage they can't fix them with treats that's most of the time what the issue is and and uh but gee know, that saddens me just dope them up with a like you look at freddo and he's just the most oh he's so soft natured and calm like i know that he's i know i'm not dismissing his story and his history but i look at him now inside the home with us oh you know he's big teddy bear he's just the biggest marshmallow and it just, uh, it does. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't come as a surprise because as a trainer you do see that a lot, you know, and I see dogs come to me and they're heavily medicated because, you know, they've been told that that's the only solution for them. And unfortunately, there are too many people out there trying to push this positive only movement when positive only has a very narrow field of dogs that it can help. All the dogs outside of that, they push to the too hard basket or they medicate because they don't know what to do with it. Medicate and euthanize is the yeah. two options. And Which is ridiculous. You know, you know? It's just so... To me, that's failing those dogs. You, yeah. you, as humans, we're failing those dogs by trying to fit them into a category that doesn't work. Yeah, yeah it's really sad. Anyway, we're going home to give Fredo a really big hug. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to smell the shelter on us. Yeah. You'll be glad he didn't go. Yeah, he wouldn't like it. Nah. Even Tank and Chopper, you can see in their eyes, they were like, surely this is just a visit. Yeah. Because <laughs> you know? they went back into the pen that we met that them That we in. first saw them in, yeah. yeah. But, you know, they did a good job today and they're going home to, you know, back to the farm, farm life. They couldn't have jumped in the bus quicker. <laughs> no, they couldn't. But they did get lots of lots of hugs from their, um, you know, the staff at the at the shelter. They all loved Tank and Chopper. So. Yeah. They did. Anyway, it was a really, really long day, wasn't it? But a good day. It was a long day. It was surprising. I didn't realize. Look at the clock and we're a couple of hours over what we thought we were going to be, weren't we? Yeah. 